Hello, welcome back to Calendra's System, uh, the gold fan mission I have been playing, which is episode 3. We have just come back from Lady Calendra's house where we found the key to the shrine. And we have, and we also found some dried frog for our friend Royal Adrius. So we have a couple of objectives now. We have to get into the shrine and steal the relic, the Silex of Jortal. And we have to find Brother Adrius's scattered body parts and take them to the observatory, which is where we found the Summoner Stone, and then help him out there somehow. I also need to find this Ragnar guy alive and take him back to the Ark Collector's place. He's one of the guests of the party. And I don't know how to identify him. I do remember something vague about him wearing gold armor, but that didn't help me. Uh, last time I played this mission, which I didn't finish, but uh, I did fight him. I knocked a bunch of people out of the party, and he was one of them. But I don't remember what he looked like at all. And I wasn't recording, so I can, can't even go back and check a recording of that to identify him. So, we have a shrine to get to. I guess we've got two ways to go. I could go back upstairs. Uh, or I could go through this secret passage here, which we can leave open now that we don't have uh, our friend brother Adrius's disembodied head wandering around. I go in there and come out at the cathedral, but I think the rope is going to be the quieter way here. Still got three rope arrows, so I can safely leave that there to get. You remember when the Baron bullied troop down the wall? Oh, he's still got a he's still got a pocket full of loot there. I haven't uh, dealt with him. But for the moment, I will just try and make my way to the shrine. Too bad, we good. He says a little uncertainly. Uh, I'm just remembering that. Uh, oh, who is this? Is that Lady Glenda still standing there? I thought she was supposed to have had an argument with. Um, What's his name? Her other friend. And gone to the shrine already. Maybe not. Maybe the scripting is buggy. Hammer's got it good. Just smash them flat with those things. What's down here? That cinder girl yeah, nothing. certainly put up a fight, didn't she? Mm -hmm. Where's... You remember when the Baron police took down the wall? A little alcove without a statue. Odd. Uh, okay, um... There is a patch of light just there that I need to watch out for, but... There's somebody's coming. Boring, 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 boring. <laughs> No, don't come here. Don't come here. At least then I was meeting people. What are you doing standing there? That's... <coughs> You're in my way. Thank you. And then there's the Count. Can you believe it? Something smells of treachery. <coughs> oh, I hate rats. Yeah, it's the highway. Where is he then? I haven't seen him. Not so I maybe that guy's yeah. Ragnar. Uh, I don't know. The games area. Uh, not a it's quite dark here now. I could probably knock these people out. <laughs> but I would like to know who I'm actually trying to get. Captain of the City Watch. <laughs> Where's gold? Not a chance. Boring, boring. <laughs> I'm wearing gold armor, apparently. Well, not her. Rather be sleeping, though. <laughs> yeah. This Probably is not one of these thiefy, then I was thiefy looking guys. <laughs> that noisy. Maybe it's this dude walking back and forth. <laughs> Too bad. It was good. He looks city watchy, doesn't he? <clears throat> let's, let's try him. When he gets unstuck. Mm -hmm. 
It doesn't sound very city watchy, I guess maybe. Are you Ragnar? <laughs> Hope so. Who's that? Nope, you're James Whitman. Alright. Hmm. Guess it was nothing. Are you Ragnar? Are you got money? You're also a little further away than I thought. Ah! No, you're Come on now, no. come on! Who is this Ragnar guy? This is not working out very well for me. Don't think you can hide from all. I'll find you. Okay. Alright, they're getting suspicious. And they're also not people I need. Are you Ragnar. Somewhere. Oh, your Burgomaster Thieves lot. You're not Ragnar, are you? You're in a thumper. Are you Ragnar? I mean, I didn't think you were. But, uh. Oh shit, you see me. Oh shit. Are you Ragnar? Oh, you sound rather female. You're not Ragnar, I know. Oh, this is Ragnar. Maybe. Let's find out. Yes, I found Ragnar, alright. Um, and I'm getting killed, this is not good. Uh, oops. What is that? Ow. Well, that was boring, boring, boring. That was boring, 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 boring. So, good news is, I know where this guy is, and I think I can get to him without being disemboweled if I'm a little more careful. And hopefully get him back out the front gate I came in, so as to get back to the Art Collector's house where I have to leave him. Yeah, there's the Archer dude there, so I'm going to need to put out the torches, I think. Right, I have water arrows. Oh, he's suspicious now. He thinks there's somebody there. That Cinder girl certainly put up a fight, didn't she? Oh, he's going to give up soon enough. Find you. Damn you. You're really suspicious about that torch, didn't you? He's giving up now. Let's try the other torch. Anyone notice anything? Nope. You remember when the Baron's police took down the wall? <coughs> All right. There's the fellow we need. Now we just have to get him all the way out without being spotted. What are you coming? Oh, he's not coming this way. Good. He's a lot of thieves highway. This is the people with sharp swords highway. The people who don't like thieves highway. Very disconcerting. Oh, does he have loot? That I have not picked. He does. Not a chance. I'll worry about loot later. I have more problematic things the to deal with. Closed areas? Not a and then there's chance. the count. Can you believe it? Walk there. Something smells of treachery. You couldn't lure me down there for any price. Not a chance. Um. Yeah. Let's get some more wine. That usually solves Oh, everything. don't get stuck there, people. <laughs> Yep, right. 
Make run for it. And then there's the count. Can you believe don't, it? Don't make run for it, because it's still stuck. Something smells of treachery. <laughs> I guess it was nothing. It was definitely nothing. So we're just piling up in that passageway. That would be very unfortunate for me. But I can't really see. I have to wait to see if they come out again. Oh, he's coming out. It must be. Alright, let's, let's go. Well, there's a lady just standing there, but uh, Hello? I got around her. I actually heard something or saw something, but it wasn't necessary. It wasn't relevant. Alright. We have Ragnar. Before I uh, take him, I'm going to steal this loot. <laughs> One of you had something on your belt, right? You. Wait, before I get seen. Alright, I have some money, I have a Ragnar. Let's go back to the Weeping Angel. Take this fellow to meet our art dealer friend. Also, I wonder if it's worth. Yeah, it probably is worth running around town with the Summoner's Stone after I've dropped him off to see if we can find any of Brother Idris's body parts. They might be here, I don't know. Uh, I don't want to be up here. I want to be downstairs. I don't want to go out the front door, it's easier. So we've got to make our way all the way back to the shop, basically, and the art collector's place is just beyond it. Phone, which is not far to go. It's just a bit slow with the, this dead weight. Well, unconscious weight. And then drop this fellow off. I might stop in at the shop perhaps, see if I want to buy anything else. We've met our loot target, so I can afford to spend some, I think. Might just grab another packet of broadheads if there are any, because I wasted quite a few on that spider. I do, I do remember from the previous time I tried this mission uh, that there are additional foes to kill, so broadheads will be handy. Here we are shop and the uh, elusive archway that I completely missed like for a very long time last time and even this when I started this time and all the guards are unconscious so I can just drop this fellow somewhere I'll drop him upstairs next to Lord Alhazrad and they can reminisce about old times before well whoever wakes up first can deal with the other one Why did you uh, sleep in the same bed? <clears throat> right, objective was done. Find a way to deposit Ragnar alive inside Lord Alhazard's mansion. Right, where's our summoner's stone? Let's see if we can see any signs of Brother Adrius's body parts in the town. There we are. Presumably they're not in the house, but. Uh, This is something about wind and water and fire. Well, there's the canal with water. There's the rooftops where there was lots of wind. I'm not sure I've seen any fire about. Well, I'm not hearing anything here. I'll put it away for a moment while I check the shop. Hello again, Dibbler. At these prices you're cutting your own throat, aren't you? Where's my loot? How much loot do I have? 25.89, of which 770 is gold, so I spend 500 if I want to. Um, broadheads, how much is a gas arrow? There is a gas arrow. 500 just for a gas arrow. Hmm. How much is a gas mine? Gas mine, 625, no. That was a little too expensive. Some more fire arrows. Potions aren't going to help me. 
Uh, let's just grab some broad heads. And... Well... I could still spend 500. Alright, let's grab the gas arrow. Still on, we still have over the loot limit. I have one gas arrow to knock people out with. Thank you, Dibbler. And, uh, we well, should be better off if we encounter enemies that don't like us very much. Oh, I wonder if those faces were anything to do with his body parts. I don't know how many body parts he said he had. He didn't mention a bunch. Um, but it was hard to hear what he was saying, and it's not been replicated from the objectives, so... Clues that are only in what people say are kind of inconvenient. But let's, let's grab that and see if there's anything to do here. Since we are here. That's not it then. <laughs> Worth checking. Let's keep it out. You, homeless man, you're not uh, carrying any body parts of our friend, are you? No? So there's lots of wind portable up here, so this is kind of. Oh! That would be it. Oh, we, maybe I don't even have to be holding it, just carrying it. That looks like... Oh, there's a weird spinny thing above it. Right, uh, I have a pile of brother Adrius. It's his torso and a bit of his right arm. Do they just appear, or do I actually have to be holding the summoning stone to see them and then I can put it away? I don't know. Let's hold it anyway. Because... So this, I think, was the windy bit. Ah! Well, I'm gonna need to be summoned here. Alright. Good thing it's saved. We need to get down to the canal. Which I'm sure we'll find another piece of him here, because it's the watery spot. Uh... This may not be the best side to approach the canal from. Now where's our summoning stone? <laughs> Possibly there's the aqueduct as well. Maybe the aqueduct is where we should be looking. And not the canal. Seems actually seems more likely since there's nothing else in the aqueduct. Uh, I will just scout this bit of town in case there is another body part. Who knows? It's going to be a bit of a uh, bit of a what's involved with a lot of running around, hoping to find it. Without real any real guarantees, but, uh, apart from his very oblique clues, you know, one in the fire, one in the etc. etc. Um, well, I can get across there. <laughs> how did I get? How did I get there before? That was a doorway. Let's look for a doorway. I'm kind of lost. Oh, it was just over here, wasn't it? Over here. No. Yes. No. No. Further on. To the left up here. I think. Uh, nope. Not this way. Well, here's the aqueduct. Let's see if there's a body part in the aqueduct. <laughs> Well, you know, there it is. It's 
the other part of him it looks like a lower torso and half his right leg. Poor fellow has been uh, really torn to pieces. Okay. Let's go back to the ladder. Fire. Where have I seen fire? Have I seen any fire? I haven't really seen any fire. There's not going to be another part of him in the park here, is there? Let's just have a quick look, just in case. That'll be too easy, right? They've, they've done this like a treasure hunt, an Easter egg hunt. We've just got to find, run around until we find all his gory pieces floating around. Uh, so this is the inn. Presumably we shouldn't leave any at the inn, right? I'll be coming back there anyway, before long, so I'll check there. So we have, uh, there was the area behind the gate that I got to from a passageway that I can't remember where it is now. Um, it was through a room, was, was there over here? Oh no, that was, that was the guy's house that I was robbing. Hello, sir. <coughs> Yeah, same to you. Ah, oh, that's right, up over the up over the roof here. Got me to the other side. At roof level. Yeah, and there's a tower. There might be something in the tower. The tower's very empty. There was a gold hammer in it, but uh yeah, it's probably worth checking the tower. That was not a door that opened. Ah, uh, that's where I was thinking of. That's where I get to that other gate of Fire Town. Let's see if he's up here. There's, there is a torch here. Uh, this tower doesn't seem to have much other purpose. It's not on fire. Uh, nope. No body parts. Pity that. Town. Also, a piece of part of town that seemed fairly pointless. Is it safe to drop down here? <coughs> no. I think I can hear him talking. He must have a body part here somewhere. Oh, hello there. <laughs> One of his legs. I guess that's his right leg since it's, uh, it was seven of the knee. Alright. Uh, Let's get back up. Well, so far it's not too, far, too hard finding his body parts, but we're still... What have we got? We have upper torso, lower torso, and one leg. So, presumably, well, and his head. We have two arms and one more leg to find. What? Did, I mean, do they just appear and carrying this? I don't know. So, where else to look? I think I've kind of explored most of the town already. Um, I don't know if I can make that jump into the canal from here. Right, I should try. Yeah, no trouble. So we found one in the dark alleyway, we found near wood, we found one up high where it was windy for air. And we found one in the aqueduct where for water. I said something about fire. I haven't found a place with fire yet. And I really don't know what other places he suggested. Because he wasn't speaking very clearly. He was mumbling a lot. Uh, I, you know, that's fair enough. I do, I do it too. But it's inconvenient when you're trying to rescue someone's disembodied body parts. When they're just always mumbling. It's not the easiest to understand. 
where he's telling you to look. I'll make sure he, I'll make sure he's aware of that if it happens to him again. I am just gonna go briefly climb out on this roof to see what's over here. So I can't remember whether there's anything down here or not. There is a place down here. Oh, it's a, a gas arrow. No body parts, but I'll take another gas arrow. Sure. on a stone. Okay. Half, half of Brother Aegis is in our pockets. And who knows where the other half is. Now we might need to go off to the other part of town. Perhaps. Down near Fegrim's Court, where we're supposed to go after dropping the shrine. We should be able to get there fairly easily. It's just the other way through the sewers and we can get to the sewers without being seen. So I kinda of wanna I wanna kinda of wanna get the uh, brother Idris at least find all those parts before we go to the shrine. Just why just so I don't forget. So I you know I have one objective at a time that I am keeping in my head. Thank you for closing it automatically. Alright. So we've still got people walking all over the shop here, getting in my way and whatnot. But it doesn't matter, we're going this way. I wonder if there's a body part down here, that would be uh, of interest. There's not appear to be. Okay. Back we go. <sighs> what about this sewer? I actually didn't explore the sewer, did I? Didn't actually go in the water. Do I see anything in the water worth picking up? Bones. I didn't really see anything else. Might check on my way back. Uh, for now, let's just go out this way. Maybe. Alright, I might check now. I hope there's a way out of the water. Oh, there is an arrow there. A rope arrow, okay. Um, I can kind of stand here, okay. Only kind of, I can't actually... Use a repair. Is there a ladder I'm missing? No. Oh, there's a ledge. Cool. Ledges will suffice. And it'll do. We'll be able to get uh, back out from that, I think. What's up the top there? Did I be it? Have I been up there? No. Yes? Is that where I came in? Oh, that's where I came in. I should try and see what's up there. Let's use another rope. <laughs> we have, ah, oh, three moss arrow. Anything else? Does not appear to be anything else. So right, I'll take that. And here we go. Summon a stone. Let's explore this part of the sewer. Ah, we have a locked gate. Okay, can I pick the lock? Nope. Can I unlock it? Does Lady Calendra's key unlock it? Nope. Well, I guess I can't go that way just yet. Change of plan, we're going to the shrine. We are going to the shrine. I'll leave the rope here for later. I still have plenty yet, three left. So 
What's the quickest way to the shrine? I know the long way around. Oh, there's some loot over there. I wonder if can I get it without being seen. I'll come back later. Let's do the shrine first. I can worry about looting everywhere here after I've done the important objective. Uh, oh, I forgot there's this door here. I haven't actually been down here yet either. Is that the front door key somehow? Uh, Lady Calandra, would you mind looking the other way for a moment? Thank you. Well, she didn't see me. What do we have? Society counts rain of soot. The clock tower is again malfunctioning. The incessant ringing is intolerable. Fetch the tinker from Lampfire Hills and chain him to the mechanism until reparations have been completed. Dylan. Yeah, I'm not sure how he's going to fix it until if he's chained to it, but okay. Society count five frogs. There are spiders in the observatory again. Send someone up to clear the webs lest they interfere with our viewing of the astral conjunction on the new moon. Yeah, I've dealt with them. Society Count Gravediggers, hello! For the third time this week, the clockwork has ceased its correct operation and is again breaking the silence for no rhyme or reason. If this continues, the City Watch will call and you know how much we enjoy their company. Do I make myself clear? Dylan. Right, we have a... Oh, that looks fiery. Just wondering if I was hearing echoes of uh, Brother Adrius's voice. Might just be someone upstairs. Guards about. <laughs> That's something when I pull that lever. See any doors? I see a spider. I don't like a spider. Oh, I get it. If you pull the wrong lever, yeah. There's another door somewhere opening. So it's letting the spiders out. Well, maybe I can just blackjack it. It's a week. Right, so it's a little trap. There's a water arrow hidden in there, but if you pull the wrong right lever. You get the water arrow, if you pull the wrong lever, you get spiders. Okay. Nice. Kinda weird. No other spiders? Anyone? Nope. Where's my summoning stone? I feel like this is a likely fiery spot. No? It's fire. Yeah, a voice. Maybe he's up maybe he's up there, maybe I have to put it out. Oh there it is. One of his arms. Okay. So far so good. Um sure 
that was about, I guess. But it doesn't even appear to be giving light. Alright. Getting there with Brother Adrius, but also I was trying to get to the shrine. This is not really the way to the shrine, as far as I can tell. What happens if that explodes? I don't know, I should try it. Where does this take me? Just put that away for now. Oh, it's just a clock tower that's incessantly charming. No. Oh, we're at the back of the chapel. Alright, uh... Okay, it's not where I need to be. It does not get me to the shrine, but it does at least get me to somewhere I know. Back back to the shrine, back to the passageway I meant to take. Which was the little passageway down behind Lady Glendra, where her friend Dylan went not so long ago. There wasn't a body bar in here or anything, was there? Don't see us, please, Lady Glendra. You saw nothing. So, what do we have down here? Oh, that's right. Noisy floor. And patrolling guards. These are not good. Uh, change of plan. I'm going upstairs. At least from upstairs, I can look down on those people and uh, pretend I'm better than them. More importantly, I can look hey. down on them when the took down the wall. and perhaps find a better way around them. What's that switch to? Oh, it's just light. Okay. Nope. So where are we? We need to go south, preferably south, to get to the shrine. So that's this corner. It's nice and dark. I'm wondering, I have more arrows. I can possibly silence a bit of the floor and drop a rope and maybe, maybe get down there without being spotted. That would be nice. Let's put a mossara at the bottom of the rope. And... Yeah, I'm not sure that goes all the way. I'll just put another one at the entrance there, just in case. Wow, well, definitely deadened it. Can't hear him patrolling at all. Let's go down. Where did our friend go? Uh, two friends. Hail, brother in arms. <coughs> <laughs> Nobody ever tries to steal your purse from your from off your belt. <coughs> oh God, who's, why is there so many people wandering around here? <coughs> Rather be sleeping, though. Come on, through the through the gate. That's right. He's gonna have to sleep. <laughs> Quick, pretty sore and right. Okay. So yeah, that's the way to the shrine there. So we have the key now. There's a body of the guard safely out of the way, but will anybody see us as we go there? I might have to hide. Someone's coming. Hello? Anyone there? No, no. Nobody. Nobody at all. Can I put that out? 
God, no. Bloody magic fires. Alright, where's my shrine key? We might just have to run for it. So that switch was the gate, I believe, not the uh, light. Change lights. Is that you? Oh no, it's not me. All quiet now. Must have been rats. <sighs> so here we have a problem. Uh, and I believe this is broken scripting. I'm not sure what fixes it, but he just turned around. He just got missed by a fireball. I don't know if that's just a trap or what, but I can't knock him out. Um, so I am going to have to just run past him, I believe, which feels a bit, a bit poor. Um, but I do not know another way to get through the shrine. This is the shrine. Maybe I can just distract him. Maybe I can distract him and get into the darkness. Maybe I should try that. There's nothing up there that helps me. Oh, he wasn't distracted at all. Noisemaker? Come on, follow the noise. Yeah, no, he's just not... He's, he's quite broken. I really don't know what's supposed to happen here, but uh, it's not this. So I'm just going to make a run for it. Catch me if you can. Or don't, please don't. I also believe he doesn't follow properly. I mean, he kind of does. If I stay well out of the way, I should be fine. Yeah, he's going back. No problem. Uh, a problem. Bloody big boulder. That's definitely a trap. All right. So. well with the deeper part. Down we go. Second last rope arrow. Okay, come on, grab that. <laughs> oh. uh, Garrett, that wasn't supposed to happen. Uh, right. Where is this? Oh, that's before I went to the shrine again. Make that a quick save. This is something about the scripting that can be fixed, but I will load. That's just before I made a run for it. Yeah, let's just go here. So I'm going to grab. Actually, I'm going to change my plan. There's a piece of paper up there, I think. A note up behind him. Let's make a run for it. He's going to get angry. Fire stuff at me. Okay, escape. Down this way, hopefully. Yeah, he won't. He won't follow very far. All right, Dylan, be careful sending the Cindergirl's sacrificial remains down the well. Remember how easily Tristan slipped, failed to grab the rope, and wound up an unexpected dessert for the beast. Besides, since I'm moving the Silex to the deep grotto, the beast has been fed more than usual. We don't want it growing fat and lazy in its job as a watchdog over the Silex. Uh, so we have a beast to worry about. And a boulder. They nearly got me that time. Alright, uh, I will save before attempting to climb down the well, because even if you do grab the rope, sometimes the physics still kills you. Better or worse. So let's try that again. Please don't die to physics. No! Alright, you died to physics again. Let's try a different angle of attack. What? 
Is there, a, is, there a, is there a trap there? No. It's just physics. Uh, dodgy physics. It uh, appears I'm grabbing the rope, and as I grab the rope, I am then... Falling into the side of the well. This is awkward. This is most awkward. What if... What if I just fall to my death? That doesn't work. Uh... Um... Something's problematic here. Oh, of course, this is the gold, not thief too, so the <laughs> slow, slow fall potions don't even exist, otherwise this would be a reasonable place to try one. Maybe if I go from this side. Uh, nope. Problematic than I anticipated. Uh, <laughs> rather more problematic than I anticipated. Oops. What if I put the rope really far to the side? It's not going to be very useful to me up here. Maybe I can grab it further down. Okay. Then, the big question is, can I get back up again? Can I get stuck? Or am I just going to get stuck? Uh, maybe I can get back up again. Maybe I'm just going to get stuck. Maybe both are true. <laughs> Alright, get out. If I can get back down without killing myself, then uh, that may suffice. Nope! Well, that was half a plan. It kind of, kind of started to work. Let's try it again. from over here, so that I'm not stuck between the beam and the well, which seems to be what kills me. Alright, let's just trust that I can make it back up. I'll jump over here, and do another save here. I'll keep my quick save up there, just in case I need it. Just in case this rope fails, and I can't get another one to help. I wonder if there's any more traps. Quiet cut. Alright, what do we got here? Oh, there's a lot of noise. Hey, I wonder if uh, there's any body parts down here. I mean, that would be a good place to throw body parts, right? If you didn't want anyone finding them. There's my summoner stone. Yeah, I don't think so. Is a deep grotto with a beast. That looks like a beast. And there is the Silex. I'm just gonna make a run for it. Can I get yeah, completely hit here? As he turns around, as he goes away, I'm gonna run in, grab it, run back, and run up the stairs back to my room. Oh, maybe he doesn't even see me. Perfect. I'm quite happy with not being spotted by the beast. Great, I've got the uh, Silex of Jortal, the relic. Oh, I need to sign the guest book as well as find the rest of his parts. Let's see what we've got at the top. Let's see if I can make it back out up that uh, slightly dodgy rope. Can only hope. Yeah, it's a long way up. Alright. So, once again, save. Without using a quick save, in case I need quick save point to redo this, but uh, hopefully I can actually manage to climb up here. Yeah. Alright. Good. 
we have made it into the shrine. Now we have that fellow at the top who I guess I'm, I'm gonna have to uh, just run past again. He's bugged. Like, according to what uh, Mercedes was saying, Lady Calendra and him were supposed to be having an argument and maybe fighting, I don't know. But uh, she was just sitting where we left her originally, and he was just camping this uh, passageway. Yeah, let's just turn this out so we can sneak up on him. Uh, he's just camping this passageway, right? No? Yes? Yes, there he is. Uh, oh, we might be able to sneak out behind him this time. Worth a try. Yeah, uh, that made him suspicious. Let's go. I don't think he saw me. Good. He's still down there. Now we only have to get out of here without being spotted. I think we just have to go for it. Alright, uh, okay, I lost kind of a long way around, but yeah, yeah, it works. Back up our rope. Alright, uh, we are making progress. We now have to, uh, Sign the guest book. Find the rest of Brother Adrius's parts, which I think might be in the other part of town. Go to Mercedes' new apartment after you have the Silex of Drottle, which I have now. And have completed your other objectives, so I haven't, but uh So there's a locked gate. Um a locked gate in the sewers that's preventing me from getting to the other parts of town. I don't know what unlocks it. I couldn't have didn't seem to have a key for it. Let's, uh, but, all I do remember, again, this is this is about as far as I got last time I played, except that I did find that that locked gate had mysteriously unlocked itself. So I'm hoping that is the same here, that it's just tied to the objective. When the Baron police took down the wall. <laughs> uh, I hope it's just tied to the objective to get the Silex, because now that I have the Silex, um, I should hopefully... Hopefully it'll be unlocked and I can make my way to the next part of town and continue on to the next part of the mission. Find the rest of Brother Adrius' body parts, which I hope are scattered around there. And meet up with the Mercedes again. <sighs> yeah, I... Hello? I agree with all your grumbling. Alright. Uh, maybe, maybe really source, source shadow. We have the Silex of Jorsal. I hope the gate is open, and I hope that we find the other body parts that we need. Let's find out. Yes, the gate's open. All right. It's time for another big save. Oh, there's a note. I didn't see that before. You can thank me later, M. Oh, thanks Mercedes for just opening the lock at the crucial juncture. So nice that you didn't let me make my own way around. Okay. Where does this take us? That's a dead end. Let's go left. Hopefully this is not a dead end and I don't run out of air. Ah, good. I can breathe up there. Let's get my breath back. There's a very long ladder. I wonder if there's anything down on the floor. Let's have a very quick look to see if there's any signs of anything obvious. I'm not going to scatter around looking for rings or anything stupid like that, but if there was if there was say a wood arrow or something it would probably be visible. Right, we are coming out of the well in a new part of town. 
Right. Uh, I am going to... Oh. I heard a frog beast. I am going to cut the episode here. And uh, take another very short break. And I'll be back in five minutes.